Okay, hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black. This is the third time I've tried to record this review of the game. Uh, yesterday I've had drilling going on next door, hoovering going on in this house as well. Uh, but hopefully now I'll be able to get through this quick review for you. Uh, I think it was a fairly strong team that started the game yesterday. I think pretty much from that team that started the game yesterday, there would only be Ruddy, Hawes and Gibbs White who don't start and possibly Giles as well at the left wing back who don't start the first game against Everton. I imagine that Patricio, Johnny, Bolly, and Moutinho have come in for those instead. Uh, that being said, I think it was a really good first half. Uh, lots of chances created and Wolves just looking so comfortable in possession yet again. Against a very good Stoke team. Let's, I, I think the players that Stoke have got, there's no way really that they should have been relegated. I think bad management, negative atmosphere around the club and things like that led to them being relegated. I think they're going to have a very good season next season. If they can keep hold of players like Shawcross, Crouch, Joe Allen as well, I think they're, they're guaranteed to be up around the playoffs, if not the automatic places. To come on to Wolves then, Ryan Giles is the first player I want to talk about. I thought he was superb at left wing back yesterday. Uh, created two really good chances for himself. Uh, if He needs to develop a bit of a right foot, I think, because he cut in from the left-hand side in the first half and just needed to have a right foot to just have a shot there. He had to work it back onto his left foot and then the shot as a result was quite weak. Then the second half, he managed to get down the left-hand side and didn't cut into it onto his right shot across the goalkeeper and it forced a very good save from uh, Federici, the Stoke goalkeeper, to, to stop it from going in. And he looked really, really bright and I hope that he's given a chance now in the first team. Uh, Johnny, of course, was signed yesterday. He was on the bench uh, against Stoke but didn't come on. I've heard that he's a more defensively minded player, so perhaps he could be playing in the left side of that back three, uh, which leaves then Vinagre and Giles as the left wing backs. And I personally would be fairly content with that at the moment. Um, I think what yesterday showed as well is that we do need another right back, a right wing back. Doherty looked superb in the first half, but then Oscar Burr came on for the second half. Not that he played badly, but I just think he lacks a little bit of experience and a little bit of a lack of forward thinking, which I've criticised Doherty for over last season, but I think he looked quite good yesterday in that respect. Costa as well looked very strong, very fast. There was one moment in the first half where he just seemed to, he seemed to be running at full pelt and then just burst forward at another 10 yards or so to get past the Stoke defenders. There's been a lot of talk about him bulking up as well over the summer, and that's certainly the case. He looks a lot bigger and stronger than he did uh, last year. He needs to work on his final final product as well, which I think has been mentioned by others in pre-season, and I think once he does that, he'll be unstoppable in the Premier League. Uh, Jota only played for half an hour yesterday as well. I think that's, that was obviously pre-arranged, um, and perhaps we might see the same thing happen in reverse on Saturday against Derby with Cavaliero coming on. Um, to replace him, Jimenez played, uh, started yesterday and looked good, looked strong up front. Uh, looks like he, he's a slightly different player to Bonatini, but in a way sort of similar. He was winning the ball back off defenders, putting pressure on defenders really well uh, yesterday. And he didn't really have many chances to, to make something happen, but looked as if he could latch onto those long balls from Neves through the middle. Uh, which again gives us another option uh, in attack. Gibbs White, I thought, had a really good game, some really good pass passes forward, vision-wise, and he looks more settled in that centre midfield role next to Neves. Uh, and I think he needs to dis well. I think it has been decided for him now that that's his position and that's where he needs to play, and hopefully he can develop into a really really good centre midfielder and there's been a lot of talk I think over the last couple of days about how Moutinho and Neves are very very similar players but we've got Gibbs White then who gives us that different option in terms of taking the ball forward in a different way. In terms of the second half then there was a lot of changes obviously and it became quite disjointed and that's why really there weren't many chances for either team uh, in the second half and the game obviously finished nil-nil but some of the young players that came on particularly Benny Ashley Seal I thought looked really strong really good um, and was unlucky not to score he had a shot that uh, hit the post um, Brighton Ipicare looked his usual indecisive self in that he um, he has he's very good in possession but doesn't use the ball well enough he doesn't use the ball quickly enough and he 
delays and delays and delays and gives the, the defenders a chance to come and win the ball off them. Uh, so that was it. I want to see Bright given a chance outside of Wolves now. I think he's had two years of good opportunities at Wolves and has not really taken them as he should have done. I think he needs to go and refresh somewhere else for a year on loan. because He has got the potential to be a very, very, very good player, but he's just not in the right environment at the moment at Wolves, I don't think. And then finally, Rui Patricio came on for his first, uh, well, the first time I've seen him. Uh, he did play against Bochum on Sunday afternoon. But yeah, he made two very good saves, one down to his left that bounced just in front of him, right in the corner of the of the goal from quite a speculative effort, but still a good save. And then from a volley from inside the box, it looked like he was in and he sort of somehow threw himself to his right and clawed it out. Fantastic save. Um, a couple of the points, though, about Patricio is that he obviously prefers to punch away crosses, which I think as Wolves fans, having watched Matt Murray and Carla Kimi and John Ruddy you know, for a number of years, we I prefer to see a goalkeeper come out and catch the ball and collect it. But there was a twice yesterday that he punched the ball out. One looked very, very clean punch and cleared it miles and miles out of the way. And the second, he flapped at it a little and sort of caused a little bit of confusion and uh, and almost gave away a penalty, I think, in the process of that. Uh, but he looks the most serious man in the world. He's so... I, mean, I haven't seen him crack a smile yet. He just looks as if he's focused on his job. Well, if you went to the game yesterday, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you uh, later this week. I expect there to be one more signing this week. We've already had Johnny and Moutinho who've come in. But I'm hoping that there'll be one more and a striker is what we need. Just that little bit, of, little bit more of an option up front. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.